hi guys in this video i'll be playing yuppie psycho i really like the music because it's kind of like a jazzy elevator but spooky music if you don't know what yuppie psycho is it's an indie horror um adventure game and i think this is gonna be a fun game so let's go ahead and play it all right let's go ahead and start a new game Ooh, I'm excited! <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what to expect. Hopefully it's a good game. I heard um, it was a good game and I read the reviews as well. So let's see. This place is so full of people. And my tie is just too tight. I never worn one before. They were right. The big city really will eat me alive. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I mean, that's me in real life. <laughs> and this letter. Job offer. What if everything was a joke? A scam? But. Maybe it's real. If this letter is real. This would be, oh, he got a job offer. My first job, <laughs> me, he's so cute. Oh, he's nervous, me too. I would be nervous as well. He's clenching his suitcase. He's working an office job, I'm assuming. What does he realize? He's like, I see the most beautiful girl in my life right in front of me. <laughs> Oh, the wind. Oh, he seems horrified. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I love the pixelation. Oh, I love this. It's cute. We see a lady sitting on the couch and the other one was smoking. Do I move with... Well, I finally arrived. I hope I'm not the wrong place. Oh, my name is Brian. With an I. I know people that spell it with a Y. I should walk around WSAD. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone, oh, with an E. Oh, so I talk to someone with an E. Oh, look at me. Wait, where's my glasses? Maybe let's talk to this chick. Can I talk? Hi, excuse me. The administration of an order branch functionally tasked is directly proportional to the production received from its contractual relationship to the net profit. Uh, <laughs> so she's probably practicing or reading something. Maybe this dude who's smoking a cig. Hello, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. If you don't mind, would you call me by my last name, Chapman? You know how big companies are with their formalities. Uh, excuse me. You should call me Pasternak then. That's an interesting last name. Nice to meet you, Pasternak. Looking at you, I think I can assume it's also your first day at work. Just stay calm. It's normal. To be a bit nervous. Yeah, it really is. Don't get nervous, guys. It'll get better. Yes, I'm here because I got a letter. So? Sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you enter. Oh, is he a fashionista? Is he gonna critique me? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> He's like, looks up and down. What are you wearing? Me. Uh, a suit? Uh, no shit, Sherlock. No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? Oh, I love this dude already. Oh, then, I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners, but that seems very pe peculiar. Pe peculiar? Peculiar? Yeah, to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Dang, this dude is so obsessed. Okay, if I say I don't remember, then back off. Um, I think my mother got it for me at a supermarket. If you're in the United States, it's either Dillard's or JCP. JCP? JC Pennies! Or Men's Warehouse if you get the moolah. Supermarket? Excuse me, but what class are you? Oh, Heck no, that is so rude. I'm class G, and you? 
Uh, he's like, I'm talking to a low class, er, a low classer. I don't know. I don't associate myself with him. Uh, dude, better back off. Oh, <laughs> get away from me, vermin. <gasps> okay, rude. Me too. How dare you talk to me, class G scum? But how? 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 Get out. Go. Uh, I'm sorry for. Shut up. What brings a, a a piece of shit like you to a company like this? Do you know where you are? Do you? Uh, this is the original Shin Truck Corp headquarters. The mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. Ah, yes. I haven't finished yet. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people of the international level. Students from the most prestigious university are rejected by the handful for not making the grade candidates of proven experience fight for a... No. <laughs> Calm down, Chapman. I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. You know what? Middle fingers thrown at you. Okay? So rude. So rude. I... Ugh. What else can I do? Can I look at the letters here? Oh, yes I can. It's a pamphlet. It reads, security, stability, fair salary, and ultimately, your welfare are our priorities. Centra Corp provides Class A citizenship to all of our employees. We spent half a century at the top working for you. Class A is a dream for someone like me. So if he's a G, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Dang! That's like seven um, tiers below A. Six tiers, seven tiers. Six tiers. <laughs> Maybe I can look at the pamphlet right here? No. Wow, Have you, do y'all notice that? That camera's following me. Oh no, it's not, JK. I'm overreacting. Let's look at this. Rooftop, management, executive gardens, arches, library, Office, Hive, IT, Security, Nation, Captain Lobby. Song in the Lobby, Zero Floor. I wonder if I could change the keyboard settings because I have to press E to like interact with things and I don't like that. Because it's weird because I'm using WASD to move around. <gasps> That's what it meant when it said WASD. Oh, well. <laughs> There's nothing interesting here. <laughs> the trash. Oh, the lady got up. Should we interact with her? Or maybe let's look at the fruit bowl. Let's interact with her. She got up. Hello, my name is Brian. Well, you are very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you call me Kate. Oh, she's so sweet. Is that the girl that's on the um, the clip art in the beginning? Ah, oh, that's right. Sorry, it's not. I'm not used to it. It's mine is Pasternak. No, 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 no. Call me Kate. It's more natural. Oh, she's cute. I love the little freckles that she has. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, I'm G class. I hope you don't mind talking to me. <laughs> I guess you have that to blo I guess you met that blonde guy. There's always a lot of very stuck up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in class E, but my father got a job here and my family is able to ascend through the ranks. How lucky. So, are you here because you got a job offer also? Yes, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams. I'm super excited. Six entrance exams? Hell no, count me out. <laughs> I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. There were thousands of candidates. I love how she has that one finger up. I work in the disaggregated analytics, by the way. What's your specialization? Specialization, hmm. Let me guess, managing redundancy? Uh, perhaps combined programs? Well, Wait, wait, wait. Network protocol systems, management vertical basis, structural data calculus. No, I, I've only finished my basic studies. Oh. <sighs> what am I doing here? It's impossible for a class G to get a job at a company like this. The letter must have been someone's idea of a joke. Letter? Take a look. Brian Pastersnack. Pasternak. You have been selected for a role within Centra Corp staff. This job upgrades your status to the Class A category permanently. It was delivered to my house last, 
a, a week ago. I thought I... I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. I'm an idiot. What do you mean a mistake? You're directly secured a position at Central Corp. To me, this sounds like an opportunity of a lifetime. I like her. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education or... This is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. This dude not supposed to be smoking in the lobby. You're supposed to be smoking 20 feet away from the building. Mr. Chapman, please. Oh, it's a speaker. Let's do it like an AI robot kind of thing. Mr. Chapman, please enter the elevator. <laughs> they always call the most important people first, understand? Of course you don't. I can see from your face how ignorant you are. You are the ignorant. You see, that's a little light on the elevator that marks the floors. The higher you go, the more appreciated you are. The ninth floor, the managing directors, that's my destiny. Watch, I'm gonna go on the rooftop and be like, that's where I'm going. Goodbye forever, beggars. I feel like I'm gonna see this dude again. Jeez. Okay, two, three. <laughs> it stopped on the second floor. He said the ninth floor. Oh my gosh. He wasn't too important, I guess. <laughs> I'm assuming that everyone went from zero, one, two. Okay, makes sense. Oh wait. Who's who's it gonna call next? Miss Hicks, please enter the elevator. Oh, I'm bag of nerves. I'm a bag of nerves. She said it twice. She must be really nervous. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. She's so cute. I like her little character, her pixelated character. Ah, uh, I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for coffee. Oh, so sweet. Ah, oh, so do I. So zero, one, two, three, four. She's on the fourth floor, so she was higher than the other dude. I forgot his name to be on. Oh, Chapman. There we go. Uh, up to the fourth floor. She must have studied hard to get so high. Hmm, I guess I'll have to wait here until they call me. Unless the letter really was a joke. That would be so sad. I would have second embarrassment second hand embarrassment for him and if I was him I'll feel embarrassed and will want to go in my bed hide underneath my covers and cry for the rest of the day or week or month so I guess we'll just walk around let me look at the sign so he went to the second floor and she went to the fourth floor so the second floor was initiation so I'm assuming he barely got that job Mr. Chapman and then Hive is the fourth floor. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like where they huddle together. I'm thinking like a beehive, but I don't know. That's pretty cool. Watch me. I'm going to be going to level 10. Management or maybe, yeah, probably management or executive. One of those two. He said he was going to the ninth floor, Mr. Chapman. Such a liar. We hate liars. You're dismissed. Okay, um, let's check this room. It won't open. Oh, well, no shit. Let's look at the pamphlets on the seat. It's a pamphlet. It reads, Every year, Central Corp provides aid to millions of people in undeveloped sectors via social work. Remember, there can be no growth without sustainability. Okay, let's look at the trash. <gasps> what the hell did I just grab? It's cockroaches! Yuck! Bro, why would you do that? Is that like sh piss right here? Can I like interact with this? <laughs> okay, um, when am I gonna be called? Do I need to find something? Can I just press the elevator? Actually, maybe I should show that letter to the camera. I can open my pre case with I. So E is for interaction and I is for interacting with my briefcase. So I. Okay, let's get use. Let's use it. Hello, security camera, gentleman, or or lady. <laughs> I'm wondering if you could hear. Um, I wonder if you could hear my birds. 
chirpy. Uh, okay, the camera was like, um, I received this letter with my name, see, and it says you've given me a job. Is this some sort of prank? <laughs> Why would you say that to a company? <laughs> or, hello? Camera zooms in. <laughs> me. <laughs> He's like, what an idiot. Looks like I came all this way for nothing. Aw. Head up. Chin up. You'll be fine. I think they're just evaluating. Let's just go. Let's press the elevator again. Trying again would be a waste of time. I guess it's best just to go home. I think something will happen if I head out. Well, looks like I won't be having my first job in the capital after all. And it's a long journey back home. Mm -hmm. Elevator dinged. Okay, I did not like the sound of that. Okay, so they did not announce my name. And the creepy music just played. Do I enter or do I go home? To be continued. No, I'm kidding. I'm going in. Book it. <laughs> What's going on? Ew, for a good looking company, like, the place ain't clean or cute. Where am I going? So, zero, one, two, we passed Mr. Chapman. Bye, dude. Going higher than you. Three, four, hi, Kate. Me? <laughs> what was I doing? <gasps> Oh, hell no. The lights flickered. I me too! Uh-oh. Yuppie Psycho. Ooh, I like the intro. It reminds me of Stranger Things. The color theme. Me too. <gasps> what floor? Do we go all the way to? I forgot what was it called. The top floor. This has to be a mistake, right? Alright, let's go check. Let's go see. Those are bloody footprints. Ooh, it's getting interesting. Ooh. Okay, it's gonna. Is it my computer screen a little dark? Let's put it all. Let's put the brightness all the way up. Okay. Oh my gosh. Are they gonna have? Oh my gosh, this is really gruesome. Can I like interact with anything here? No. Modern art, expensive vases, but covered in. I wanted to say red paint. There's paint everywhere. <laughs> Way to go. Okay, yeah, now I understand why they told me if you have epilepsy, this is probably not a good game to play. Kill the witch or kill the bitch. <laughs> wow, okay, let's read this right here. It looks like a contract. I, Brian Pattersnack, Pasternak, Pasternak, declared that I accept the job offered by the Central Corp as described in the attached annexes at which my salary consists of 10,000 credits per day. If it's $10,000 a day, if, like if we're putting it in that terms, that's a lot of money well, for me. Plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance and promotion to Class A. What's the big deal of Class A? Like, I want to know the perks. What are the cons? What are the pros? I want to know. 10,000 credits a day? That's a fortune. Wait, wait, wait. This could be a trick. Let me read those annexes. According to the pre-established norms of the juris, jurisprudential doctrine, currently enforces enforce the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Citricorp by accepting this Stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document, identifically or until termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to the labor circumstances or at the request of the trade un union association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integ integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as dictated by resolution 1138. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I can make heads or tails of this. Me too. If I, I would just probably read the first few words and I'd be like, okay, where do I sign my name? That was just too much. Honestly, all those words just went 
one one through one year and one through the other. I just no. <laughs> Should I sign the con what about what happens if I press no? Now nah, we'll just sign it. What the heck? I've come all this way. I can't back out now. Everyone would think I was just a coward. I'll sign it. Who would think you're a coward? To me, you're a loner. Do you even have friends? <laughs> oh, so cute. He just bent over and like signed. Oh, so bright. Okay, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. I don't like snakes. <laughs> wow, what just happened? You've been possessed. Now you have to kill the witch. Well, I signed it. Now what? Oh, we go to the elevator, but first of all, let's look at this. I want to see it. Let me see if there's any interaction. Kill the witch. Um, this is some eccentric eccentricity of the big city, right? What? Central Corp is a very important company. So, who am I to judge the value of this bloody art? It's probably cow blood or it must be worth millions. Wow, way to go being naive. Let me press let me press the contract one more time to see if there's like any clues. I hope I don't regret signing this contract. Me too. Let's walk the other side. Let's see this controller. Can I even go through here? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, let's go down here, following the blood trail. Do 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 la 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 Elmo's world. What if I go over here? There's a door, but it's locked. Ah. All right, let's go back in the elevator. Okay, do I do anything? Oh yeah, there we go. So I'm assuming it's telling me to go to six. So we'll go to floor six. Oh, I guess it doesn't work. Uh, what is, I guess we go back to the lobby. Let's go see Kate. She's on the fourth floor, right? The girl I met in lobby, Kate, was supposed to have come to work on this floor. But it's so dark, I can't find her without a light. Why is it so dark? What the heck? Let me look at the menu. Menu. The elevator. Uh, management, executive, garden office I IT security initiation let's go to floor two I guess initiation since we just got the job so let's go there what the heck they look like zombies this is hello I'm not wandering around in the dark without a light, and I'd rather not wander around here even if I had one. And Chapman went in here. So where the hell do I get a light? Oh, wait. Uh, maybe... I guess we're just gonna have to try it before. Oh, here's this. I guess this is like the... What is this for? Bro, I wish I could run. It's the canteen, initiation, IT, and security. So maybe I needed to go to the IT and security. But I guess well, let's just explore around here for a bit. Oh, we can make our own food, but that's cute. But I'm not hungry right now, so. Um, everybody looks like zombies. I'm assuming that they're working too hard, long hours. Oh, can we put this up? It's an altar, five credits to make an offering, but it's broken. I can't, it can't be too difficult to fix. Am I going to fix it? Okay, no, I can't fix it. So we're passing by, I think there's nothing, I can't find a light here, nor, nothing looks like there's a flashlight. So there's no source of eat, me too. Um... Maybe let's go back to the elevator. So here I am at the elevator. So let's press, let's enter that right now. So we already went to level one. Uh, what? what was the, what was IT again? 
Let's just go to three. I'm just honestly exploring each floor. Let's look at this right here. Three, IT and security. Okay, so I'm at the right place. Like IT, you need to step up. Security, hello, is there anything? What is this? Over a thousand cameras are watching out for your safety. Smile. Can I enter? It won't open. Well, geez. That's useless. Is there anything over here? The door that's locked. Can I go over here? Oh, nothing's over there. So, I just need to find a source of light. But where can I find a freaking source of light? Because there's nothing for me. And then he... Look. He's probably going to say the same thing. It's too dark over there. It's very dark. I'm going to go in there without a light. Well, maybe it, let's open my suitcase. How do I... Okay, there. Oh, I have money. So, I guess I have nothing. Nothing. It's empty. Okay, so what other floor can I go? Maybe there was a source of light. Executive Gardens for offices let's go try offices I always think that's automatically gonna have me enter the elevator but I have to go in myself I can't go to level six. Oh, did it just what is going on oh it's a paper Let's see. It looks like a blank page. Wait, it has a watermark. A snake. I'll keep it in my briefcase. You got a mysterious sheet of paper. <laughs> no, duh. This is so funny. I think this game is funny. Oh, he's saying hi. Hello. Are you the new guy? Yes, hello, my name is Bri, uh, Pasternak. My name is Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Bri, Pasternak. <laughs> he's like copied me. What if he's a robot? No, it's just, haha, <laughs> it's a joke, man. I'm Hugo, your new workmate. I'm here to show you around. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, the big city can take a lot of you at first. But don't worry, you're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Thank you. Now this is the fifth floor. Here we mostly perform management tasks. We'll work with databases, well you know, computer stuff. There are a few offices in a meeting room. The bathroom's in the back. And this is the reception desk. Though the, recep though the reception in this isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. Look at that guy coming in, for example. Oh, he looks dead. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce you to Pastor... See, he didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so he can sleep. <laughs> Come on, follow me. I'll show you our office. Oh, he's moving by himself. I thought I had to move myself. So this is our office, or we're sharing an office. Nice. Welcome to your new office. Right now it's a bit empty since a few of the employees are on sick leave, but... Oh. Oh, me too. Look who's come out of her lair. This is another of our co-workers. Sosa. Sosa? Sosa? We're just with Sosa. Sosa. Hi, I'm Pasternak. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she looks. <laughs> She's a bit shy first, but once she gets started with one of her stores, there's no stopping her. Well, let's get on with the tour. Wow, really nice. That's a big place for like four people to work, if I'm being honest. Over here, we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office. There's not much science involved. It's a free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take years. I hope he's being sarcastic. 
so the water's over there. And here we have our corner store at any, of any office, the coffee maker. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say we use a little to replenish our strength? Oh, there's no coffee. Oh no, there's no coffee left. I knew it. There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never, ever, ever prepares more when it's finished. So we need to keep that in mind because probably that little person or whoever it is, that monster, we always have to have fresh coffee in hand so we can befriend her or get rid of her. <laughs> Me, like... <gasps> Right, Sosa? <laughs> She's the one! That's so cute! I love this! Oh my gosh, She's, I love it. She's too adorable. She's my favorite character so far. So then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? Oh, she's the coffee. Um, coffee beast. Of course. What do I do? Well, first, we need water and coffee powder. You should be able to find some in here somewhere. So the water is over there. So the water is over here. So let's get some water. Nice. You got one cup of water. And now let's go over here to get the coffee packets. Are these not the coffee pa Oh, I do not mean to open that. I don't have the ingredients necessary to use for the coffee maker. What the hell? Aren't those coffee? Okay, I'm getting really annoyed because I meant, where do, sir, where do I get the coffee packets? You have to get water and coffee powder. Yeah. Do I have to go all the way to the um, canteen to go get the coffee powder? That sounds doo doo. But where are you going? Don't run away. What? I try to get the coffee powder, but you're clearly in the way. Okay, that's not what I... Okay, let's just look at our inventory. Mm, we got the one cup of water. No, no, don't get we don't. We can't do that, no. No, none of this is useful. Maybe it's right in front of me, but I'm making it more difficult than it should be. Maybe it's in here. It reads boss, better not bother him. Maybe in this cabinet? It's empty. Sosa hides in there sometimes. Me too, Sosa. Maybe in here? There's a lot of documents men there can use to make coffee. Maybe over here? I don't need to make any photo phone calls at the moment. Maybe over here? It's a photo cover. It's no use for me right now. Maybe she's hogging all the coffee. Maybe let's look at this cabinet. I got one slice of bread, a moldy bread, if it's been there for a lifetime. Maybe in the trash can? It's some, there's something in there. That's the least, I did not expect that. I was just trying to do some shits and giggles over here and it was actually in the trash can. Hi yo, I'm not sure this will work. It was in the trash. Oh, it'll be fine. Blow it, blow on it, and it's a little, and it'll work perfectly. Yeah, do that. Like, if you wreck a car, blow on it, and it will be fine. Okay, now that that you got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. Ew, magic ingredients, more like trashy ingredients. Okay, would you like to brew some coffee? Well, yes, I would like to. Thanks for asking. You got one cup of coffee. Coffee gives you a much stronger energy boost than the plain cup of water. Water is really good only for showering. <laughs> well, I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? Um, what exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working here. What is it? taking pictures of my ass. <laughs> the photocopier. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. 
You can use this to print important pieces of data like quarterly figures or work documentation. But let's face it, those are low, lower floor tasks, aren't they? That's so sad. We are on the fifth floor. Can, um, we are on the fifth floor. Can instead use this wonderful device to do fun things like photo a copy. <laughs> you know, me, you know, yes, we think alike. <laughs> what? Is he gonna do it? <laughs> I love it! I love it. Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. I think I should have done it. Double sided. <laughs> Come on, it's your turn. Uh, no, no thanks. Come on, man. You understand how funny it is once you've done it. I guess you don't have to. Your ass is, if you're embarrassed, why not use your face instead? I look you want to do my ass. My face, but you just Ew, he just sat on it and then we're over here putting her face. Let's see. Oh no, it's out of paper. Of course it ha will be. Oh uh, well, what a pity. Another time perhaps. No, oh, come on man. You're the only one I could do these things with. So says a wolf and never dares. I can't believe we don't have any paper in our office. Is there some in your briefcase? Hmm. I picked up a blank sheet off the floor earlier. That might work. Oh, the mysterious paper. Of course, any paper works. The important thing is to put your head inside the machine against the glass. Ew, but you put your ass on it. Your paper, you use the mysterious sheet of paper. Watch, I'm gonna do some voodoo shit. It's gonna happen. Photocopied soul. Aw, oh, that's so cute. He looks so cute though. Aw, oh, he's like, damn. This smells like shit. <laughs> I like it. It's cute. Wow, this sure is shiny. What just happened? Which paper? What? Well, well, I see you know how to take care of yourself, Pasternak. Oh, he got scared. He's like, okay, back to work. Dude, what? I'm confused. So then, what's my job exactly? Like I said, if you really want to start working already, you can use the old computer next to you. Someone will relay you your task. Not creepy at all. Not creepy at all. Let's just start to go to work. Let's see. How does this old thing turn on? Oh, this doesn't work. Looks like there's no power. Well, then do I use another computer? I don't see anything useful here. Oh, right here. It doesn't have power. I suppose I'll try plugging this in, in the wire. Oh, look. Now it's on. Oh, that's how the startup happened. Like, that's the exact same startup as whenever I started up this game. That's so cool. You need an ID card to access this machine. ID card? Hmm. Can I use my face? <laughs> I don't think... Can I use... I think I can... Maybe let me use that sheet of paper. Uh, oh, it's not here. Uh, I don't have an ID card, maybe. So, but I don't have any paper. Let me ask him. Oh, sorry to bother you again, Hugo, but the computer says I need an ID card. Ah, true. Hmm. Normally they get sent to the boss's office. I'll see if yours is already there. Thanks, Hugo. I wonder who's my boss. Better not be Chopper Man. I doubt it. He's the second floor. Hello? Hello? Mr. Pasternak? Yes, it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me you don't have your ID card. It seems there's been some kind of administrative or error. I apologize. Oh no, it's fine. It looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D, got it. Thank you. So I have to go to Office D. Let's go to Office D. La 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 la, la 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 la. La, la, la. So we're in office E. So E. Oh, JK will not on this side. Oh, obviously. A, B, C, D. Duh. Damn, these cameras are spooky. They're weird. W, C. Is that the restroom? I think that's the restroom. Bro, where is it? Where is the room? A, oh, look, Hugo is on there. 
Employee of the month. Dang, where the hell is D? The setup is not cute. Well, geez Louise, who would put a chair right in front? This sofa, this sofa is blocking the door. Maybe I should push it out of the way. How do I push it? Oh, we should have pushed it to the other side. It'll look better. Let's put it next to the plant. Perfect. Now let's enter D. They're like, yay, you saved us. Oh my gosh, why is there always blood? Wow, it's way too dark in here. Hello? There's something written on the floor. It's a trap. This, this isn't funny. Turn on the light. I don't like this. I'm getting scared. Hello? Honestly, oh, shoot, okay. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. Stop, I don't like this. Run! Okay, it didn't hit me. We gotta move this chair. Okay, we gotta keep stay out of the way. We gotta trick it thinking that we're going. Ooh. You can't get me. I'm fast. What the hell? Hello? Do you know where the exit is? Dude, he's freaking tied up. Is that chapter? No, it's not. Is it? I don't know. I forgot. Oh my goodness. He's tied to the chair. What happened here? I'm going to try untying you. Okay, untie him. It must be tied at the back. Wee! The cuckoo! It won't push! I just pushed him! Bro. Hey, I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but, but perhaps between the two of us we could find a way out of here. Um, is there anything in the cabinets over here? You got one packet of coffee. Yeah, thanks. Out of all the derbis. Anything? Maybe. What can I do to help him? Oh, push him. I can push him. Oh, he has like a light with him. Maybe I can push him. Oh, but sorry, dude. I think I just made it worse. Okay, come on. Let's see if there's anything over here. Dude, stop struggling. Maybe something's in the box. I can't push a chair over these wires. They're too tangled to move. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to see what's in this, in this cardboard box. It seems pretty sturdy. We got one cardboard box. Okay, let's go back over here. I think he vomited or peed. Okay, so we can't go through there. Oh. Oh, shoot. I saved your life, dude. Here's another one. Another cardboard box. Oh, what's, what's happening? Hell no! Okay, is there anything in here? You got one candy bar. Oh, was a sneaker bar. Okay, let's go over here, dude. Dude, you're pretty heavy. Maybe I should just leave you here. You're just slowing me down. Can you just give me that flashlight that you have there? Oh shoot, I didn't mean to press it. Dude, stay still. Okay. Bro, you need to shut up. You're making too much noise. Oh shoot. Me, help me. Oh shoot. <gasps> Is she dead? Are they dead? There's no point, nothing interesting here. Yeah, there's people being hung upside down. You got 20 credits. <laughs> I stole from a dead person. Well. I don't see anything useful here. So I think they're just useful. I mean, we want money. There we go, you see, we love that. Mm -hmm. He's 
take it easy. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a way out in the back. Really, you could have not untied him. One packet of cooking powder. Run. Let's take this box, it looks sturdy. There's something written on the wall. Run. Hold shift. Oh, finally, I've been wanting to. Oh my gosh. Hell no. Ah! Run! Oh, he's pushing him for me. Dude, I thought I needed to push him along with me. Did I just leave him in there? Well, I just did. What was that? Uh, I have to get out of here as soon as possible. What the hell? The boxes. Uh, inventory. Inventory. I'm like already panicking. I can't even speak. Use. I need to get out of here. No shit. Get out. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot. I'm making a lot of noise. Oh, sorry. The line is kind of off. The sun is going down. Let's go. And I fall. Poof. Oh. And he sticks the landing. Oh my goodness. What was that? What, what, what's going on in this company? Hey, you. <laughs> She's like, yay, gotta go. We, we gotta figure out what's going on. She's in the office. Let's go. Oh my gosh, another. Uh, hello? Hugo! What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. A monster. There's a monster in the office. A what? I went to Office D and it was, I, I don't know, a nightmare. Ah, I think I understand. That monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks. Yeah, and he had a whole storage unit on his back. Yeah, he went crazy. Ago and locked himself in his office. No, 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 no. What happened in there is a normal. There was a guy tied in a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the walls. We gotta tell someone. Well, man, I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. Are you delusional? I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. <laughs> don't tease me, Pastor Knack. And besides, why you go into that office anyway? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. Well, the boss called me and told me I found my ID card in there. Huh? Your ID card's right here on the table. and They're always left here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone is messing with me. But, wait. <laughs> he looks around and he's like, I'm discombobulated. This office is a total mess. And what are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, did I not tell you? There aren't any bosses at this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they're all gone crazy and left in most cases. Our last boss locked himself up in the office for a few years until one day he just ran away. Who knows why? Stress, perhaps? Wait, but if there's no boss, who called me? Some joker, I suppose. <laughs> it's like, what? Stop worrying about it. I'll be the be I'll be I'll be best if you took your ID and started work as soon as possible. Oh, did I say work? Well, don't try to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that, monster. Ha ha ha. Very funny. I mean he like what? You got your ID card. Is there anything that I'm just like, there's nothing interesting. I just want to search around. If there's flies in here, 
there's blood so there has to be a dead body somewhere in here but we're just going to ignore it and go to work all right guys i'll be stopping here um i hope you enjoyed this video of yuppie psycho i really like the game and if you like the game as well give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video because something spooky is gonna happen hopefully i'm pretty sure there is something spooky gonna come out and scare me all right guys i'll see you on the next video bye